Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've just got a little job to tidy up with uh, some little friend mail that I've got there. And then we've just got a little teeny tiny picture to have a look at as well. Okay, so uh, if you remember, I'm doing my huge painting, which is this one from Diamond Art Studio UK. I don't think it'll all fit. Uh, oops, a little bit glary. I don't think it'll all fit on my table. Uh, it is a huge, I've got the size 60 by 60 centimetres. So yeah, and it's, what's it called? It's not Mother Earth, it's something like that. I'll put it on the screen. And it's by Esther Anna Var Varos, Varos. Sorry if I'm pronouncing, well, I probably am pronouncing that incorrectly. But yeah, it's like the earth has a heart with a big fox and a hair on it. So yeah, um, and this one came, they had some overstock of the canvases. They were uh, doing a special offer. It's always worth um, signing up to either Facebook or their newsletters so that you can see uh, any special offers and things or any different things that they've got coming out. They do have a wobbly range as well, which is ones where they're not quite 100%, which to be honest, I've had a couple and I've never been able to see uh, where there was any faults on them, which is probably good. Uh, so yeah, it's probably like when you do your own artwork or your own diamond paintings, you can always see the faults, but nobody else can. So yeah, um, but as I say, it came without drills. So uh, my last video that I showed this, um, I did actually go through and start kitting this one up. And there were some drills that I didn't have or didn't have enough of. And the lovely Sandra um, sent me some through that she had in her spares. They are all squares. And uh, I believe uh, the lovely Amy uh, is possibly sending me some as well. So that will be great. But I know she's busy with lots of other things at the moment as well. So, yeah, uh, much, uh, gratefully received. So let me just get these now put away into my little boxes. And I can tick off what I've got. Um, she has got a calculation on how she works out how many drills are in each pack. Um, and I'll put it in the comments down below. If you click on more and more again, um, it's quite good actually. It's really good if you can weigh your drills, if you've got any way of weighing them, um, then it actually works out for you how many uh, drills are in whatever weight and then you can roughly work out whether you've got enough drills so yeah huge thank you for that as well sandra i love the way everybody can share things and you learn something new every day there really are some really good people about i've just picked up the smallest tray possible to start doing this let me find a little bit bigger tray that's better <laughs> that wasn't going to hold many with spilly liz was it right so we have 890 so I have all these in number order and they are in DMC order as well. So 890. Oh, I don't think all of these are going to go into here. So I mean, to be honest, that's good because that means I'll probably have more than I actually need, which is excellent. So I'll we'll just get these poured into here as much as possible. So yeah, we've got uh, a few left over there and a full little tub. So that is brilliant. So I will put the spares into here. Look, I've got the little net at the top of my little case. I think this one, I'm trying to think, it was from Amazon, I don't believe. Uh, and it's a 60 bottle case. These are my favourite way of actually kitting up because they've got lids on. And when I'm actually diamond painting, I take the little bottle out that I'm using. My little stand that I've got with my magnifying light on actually has like a little tray in it. So I put the little bottle that I'm working on, the little the colour that I'm working on, into the little tray on my stand. And then I know if I go away and come back, I'm still not sat there looking, thinking, what colour was I working on? Because I can see that there's a gap, but I can see which one's in my little stand. Because I'm easily distracted. <laughs> Right, and 9.05, I didn't have many of these at all. Uh, 8.90, I needed 1,500. Well, as far as I know, I've got plenty of those. 9.05, I needed 1,400. These hold roughly about 2,000 drills. So, 
yeah uh, i'm gonna have plenty of this color as well uh, well i've worked out between 16 and 1800 drills but the manufacturers say um 2000 possibly 2000 squares because they are a little bit smaller so again i've got a few left over there which i'm just going to put in my little netted part and i'll use those first before i come on to my uh, tubs my little bottles and then 986 i needed 200 so there's definitely more than 200 in there so 986 where are we 986 there it is so i've definitely got enough of those as well so at the moment i'm just needing uh, 580 uh, 701 702 and 703 and then 936 okay so yeah it's the 703 that i'm needing a lot of 14,000. there's an awful lot of drills <laughs> i mean what's that in boxes uh in little tubs so if there's 2000 in each one so it would be seven of these little bottles that i need but it is a big picture so i can quite see why i need that amount okay so huge thank you sandra uh, i'll put that little bag in there as well they've all gone in there so that's that little job done let's say if i can just keep doing little jobs as i go along then uh, I don't get bogged down and end up with this pile at the end of my desk that's likely to fall on me and squish me. <laughs> okay, so thank you for bearing with me while I'll just get my little jobs out of the way. And then I've got this little picture and it's this little unicorn. And to be honest, this feels like it's actually come with the frame as well, which I didn't expect. I've got quite a few of these to do. Um, I did get quite a few from uh, Timu, if you remember when I got the, uh, I think it was the first Timu haul that I did. Was it the first one? The second? No, it was the first one. Because I do like these smaller paintings. Um, they make nice greetings cards, uh, like toppers for greetings cards. And uh, I was looking on Vipon. It is a while ago now, so I'm sorry the offer has now finished. But I thought you might like to see it anyway. But keep checking uh, the Vipon app. not affiliated don't get any commission they don't know i exist uh, it is just uh, as i've said in the past i like to share special offers when i get them because i just think well i'd like somebody to tell me about special offers so i like to share and this one was reduced from a 3.99 to 1.99 so i thought like well for two pound it would be rude not to oh my goodness we've got another one this is obviously a new thing they've started giving us the smallest pieces of waxes in these smaller kits that is a little teeny tiny square of wax but wow okay oh right so it's it's on the back of the frame i think so that's our little unicorn to do she's very pink oh okay oh and it's all crystals as well that's unusual because a lot of these pictures are actually uh, just standard uh, acrylic or resin gems Ooh. let's get it out and have a look so it was from amazon uh, i'll put the details down below in the uh, description so our toolkit is actually one of the little round boats these were the first uh, like little dishes little boats that i got when I first started diamond painting, you did just use you get a pen. You didn't get any multi places or anything. Uh, it was just your standard pen. And then you got these little trays, these little round ones, which were okay for putting your drills in, but you didn't have your... Uh, oh. <laughs> you didn't have your little lines in them as they do now, the little ridges, so that when you shake them, they all go the right way around. So it was a little bit trickier to use these, but they were okay. They did the job, but yeah. That's like going back in time to one of my first toolkits that I got. We've got, oh, we've got uh, a legend there. So it looks as though they've actually, yeah, it's sort of like come on the end of the picture. And for whatever reason, they've chopped it off so that they could put it into the frame. Mm, different way of doing things. So we're 11 different uh, gems and colours. Uh, it is actually what you would call 
well, I call them um, a full coverage special drill diamond painting because although the drills aren't particularly in great big straight lines so that it's like a, doing a normal diamond painting, um, it has got full coverage. Every bit uh, has got more or less something on it. So, yeah, that's going to be quite a, a cute little one to do. Very smiley unicorn as well, isn't it? And then you've got picture. This is sticky, actually, so I know that it's come off the top painting all this edge is sticky it's like when you've done your own and you cut your uh, key code off to frame your painting you always end up with a bit of sticky uh yeah and then we've got picture effect there and it says drill point there which i think it means that's the picture um and then that's the drill area but as you can see it's practically the same i'm just going to cut that off because i can't be doing with sticky things let me just uh, cut down there and get rid of that bit of sticky otherwise it's going to be stuck into everything and i'll end up losing this because i won't be able to find it albeit i think they're all numbers so i don't really think you need this oh unless oh maybe the numbers are on the uh, actual picture so yes yeah, so 11 different ones so let's have a look at this and there's all little butterflies look i've never seen that either Butterflies on the packaging. Oh. oh, this is really sweet. Oh, that's a, an extra special one. That, that's number 11. Uh, and that one is like a larger hot pink. Wow. And these butterflies are hot pink as well. Ah, they're pretty. That's really different packaging. I've not seen that one. But yeah, they're a larger round. Oh, let's have a look and see what all the others are. Oh, we've got a large around there as well. Oh, hot pink. Yes. How did I know this was going to have hot pink? <laughs> yeah, so you've got your numbers on your packets, but you do need uh, your key code because there is quite a few symbols on here as well. So they're not all numbered 1 to 11. They're actually numbered and they've all different symbols. That's OK. I must make sure I don't lose that. Right, so we've got a nice cherry red, we've got a pale pink, we've got some little round white pearls there, a, a goldy colour, and a larger one in a ooh, nice purpley colour, and another pale pink, oh, and a very deep dark hot pink, look at that one, wow, that's good colour, and your standard white, and your standard black. And then a lot of a very dark purple. So I'm thinking, let me have a look. So X is one. Um, so that one is one, yeah. So all the X's, so all of the background is the purple colour, is that colour. And then you've just got a few of the... Uh, larger ones dotted in between which are the little eights which are all over there so that's your two different colors there so that's going to be good for the background and then all of the pinks with a little bit of gold for the stars are going to be matched in on the unicorn what where does that one go that one is the lz uh, number 10 so that's that little like um oh i don't know is it flare de -lis? Yeah, similar to like a flare de -lis. So let's have a look and see if my eyes can see. Oh, that's the... Oh, right. So that's his mane then. So his mane. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's there. Look, I'm looking at the wrong thing. No, it's on his, um, his little horn on his head there. Look, his unicorn horn. We've got just a little bit of red for just a bit of contrast. Mm, very nice. Oh, liking this. So, yeah, I still for uh, two pounds, including a frame. And actually, the frame, um, yeah, it's got a little stand on the back as well. Oh, it is in the frame. Oh, right, so you actually do it in the frame. It's fixed. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, no, I don't like that idea. Oh, heck. No, I was thinking that, uh, yeah, but of course, that's the back. I was thinking that you would then take it out and put it in. But no, that is the uh, actual frame. So that's going to be a little bit tricky to get your cover sheet off let me just have a look oh yeah i suppose if you use tweezers you can uh, get in there does it come i'm just going to check it's all the way around because if it's stuck underneath that's going to be awkward no they've done it okay all right 
so I have never had one of these where you've not had to put it together yourself so actually this would be excellent then for uh, a younger person uh, because it is all pre-framed so they don't have to worry about putting it in a frame and getting it all lined up and that is very well lined up and there is like a, a drills width all the way around where there isn't any gems on it it's a little bit smaller at the top than it is at the bottom uh, but other than that I think care uh, for the money that's great but it's a nice little frame I would say I would have preferred it actually to be a frame that you can use yourself because then uh, you could put something else in it if you don't particularly want this picture and I say I do really use these as uh, ones for cards rather than for uh, pictures but I'm just wondering will that come off I don't want to ruin it yeah it will actually pull from underneath I'm not going to do that now but if I want to, then once I've done it, I can actually yeah, take that off. Yeah, but that's very, very pretty. I like that. Hmm. Okay. So we've had uh, a bit of fun today. Uh, I've got my canvas sorted out with some more gems. So I've nearly got enough. I can probably, I've got enough to start, definitely. But uh, yeah, I've just, it's that 14,000 that's going to take the getting. I think that's 703. But we will get there. I've got plenty of time, as I say. I've got a lot of ones that I need to get done first. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I, what I'm going to do, because this is just a quick little video, um, I did have my little granddaughter a visit yesterday, and uh, yeah, she was so taken with those gorgeous Harry Potter little brooches um, that she's decided she's taking them home, but she did sit and do one while she was with us. Uh, so yeah, we did a little bit of diamond painting. So with her mum's permission as well, and with her permission, of course, um, I'm just going to put at the end of this video, just a little bit of my uh, gorgeous granddaughter just doing a little bit of diamond painting and just having a little bit of a chat. Uh, some parts of it I will um, just put a little bit of music over because there's a bit of other chat going on in the background as well and you don't need to hear that. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you won't miss anything. Yay! Is that the wrong one? Have you got the right one? They don't have a back. Oh, no. Oh, just put that one in the little thing on the tray that I put, I put it, all down there. Look where grandma puts all the spares. Yeah, that can be all ones that I've spilt and all ones that are rubbish as well. And then at the end of the day, I just put a tray at the end and scoop them all in and I chuck them away. <laughs> that's, if, that's if she doesn't miss it. Yeah. Nice. Not bad, that. Yeah. So is um, Gryffindor your favourite then? And you've got Hermione's ones, oh, right, okay. And uh, what about um, the others then? What about, is it Hufflepuff? Have you got any friends in that one? You're not bothered about that one. <laughs> Gryffindor. Gryffindor, wow. Slytherin. You don't like Slytherin, all oh, right, they're the baddies. There's quite a few people uh, I asked on my um, YouTube channel uh, who was... Um, in which house? And there was quite a few people in Slytherin. Well, they're bad people. They're bad people, are they? Oh, okay. Are you sure it's not just Malfoy that's bad? Mind you, his dad wasn't very nice either, was he? He wasn't very nice to Dobby, was he? Beatrix Lestrange, she's bad, isn't she? Oh, I like Beatrix Lestrange. I think she's really good. Uh -uh. Uh... I was going to give Joanne something, I can't remember. No. Yeah, but Professor Snape tried to save Yes, and... he does. He's... he's... He turns dark, but doesn't he? He does. He gets there in the end, doesn't he? Is he like Calico Panic? No. That's the Gryffindor one. Wow. And you're using a posh pen and you've got it all kitted up. Excellent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there was this couple that had come back with all these, these Greg bits. It must have been about half five. We've gone to pick up. I just found it. I thought, well, I'll give it a try.
Very nice. Well, we know which school you're in, which house you're in now, don't we? Gryffindor! <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.